sometime at the end of April, I got an email challenging me to try someone's actual craft product. I was like, well, did you want an honest review or are you looking to sponsor a video? They reply, honest review. I did warn them that I do have a salty crafter series and if they're okay with the cons and pros being listed, send it right on. And so even though they were made aware of salty crafters existence, I salute orb molecules for having the courage to send it over. Oh, that's why I don't get sponsors. So the idea behind this challenge is to actually create a monster with this craft product. I've never used orb gears. I have no idea how they're going to feel. They look a little gooey. This monster challenge ended in May. No use for us. This product was also actually suggested by you guys to actually check it out. I'm really curious to check it out. I have three boxes with different colors. So let's actually create a creature and see overall, is it a good product? All right, so even though we only see one color in the front, the back does list the colors inside. In here we get orange, blue, green, black and white and they also have pictures of the creatures that you can make in this set we get purple aqua orange black and white in here green purple aqua black and white because i'm a cat person i want to check this kit out so let's let's open it Whoa. oh my gosh this looks so Furry. I, I don't know if it's furry or gooey. I want to touch it. Ooh, sticky. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels so weird. It feels like foam, not quite. Ooh, it's pretty sticky, but I mean, that's the point, right? All right, let's, let's take these things out. All right, so it definitely does feel like foam. It's pretty hard to manipulate. How am I supposed to play with this? So far, so good. This looks so weird. It just looks hairy, like spider legs. So we can remove each molecule on its own. I don't know how the colors work together though. The only instructions we have are squeeze, construct, and decorate. Maybe the smaller ones are easier. It really does feel like cereal. That's what it is. It feels like cereal. Like cereal. So the smaller ones are definitely easier to manipulate. They're not crunchy, they're sticky. Let's try even the tinier ones. Ooh, I like the feeling of that. And that's pretty much all you're getting in the whole box. It seems like quite a bit though. I mean, it's like a mountain. I need to show you a salty crafter face full. I checked online and it's going to cost you about $15 US, but if you're a Canadian, I'm sorry because it was like $30. With that said, let's create a monster. I'm gonna open them all up and see what colors I want to make into a creature. one of the ugliest things I've created and, and it has nothing to do with lack of skills because I have created pretty decent things but not that one I think one of my biggest struggles is as you're putting layers on top of each other which is pretty much what you're supposed to do you get other pieces beneath them that start to kind of melt off or push away or start to separate I don't know if I want to continue but you know what I really want to make the wings so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just place it behind it so it's gonna be like a head with wings
need you to know this is not for a lack of effort. I've been spending an hour and 15 minutes working on this little critter. And it's just, look, yeah, the eye is droop, look, look, the eye is drooping. It's drooping. <laughs> oh man, I had such high hopes for this. over there let's let's talk about the cons some pros but mainly the cons follow me over there come on Just, come on time to find out is this worth it and as you may or may not know here on salty crafter we love to have fun bring on your cups of water or juice or sugar or chocolate or something to remove the flavor of the salt from your mouth all right, so let's start with the first con. This product is advertised for five-year-old and plus. The bigger orbs, even I with my soul slidge fingers and pretty big hands, had a hard time wrapping my hands around it and getting proper shapes. There were no instructions whatsoever in the box, not, not even a tiny little pamphlet to tell me how to store these. I mean, they came in an open box, so my guess is I could just leave them in an open box. I mean, it says it won't dry, but pretty sure cat hair is gonna get there because it gets everywhere, pretty sure. So my suggestion is probably use a Ziploc. We don't get any tools. We don't get any hints whatsoever. How can we create some of those shapes? Because when I look at the packaging, I'm seeing really nice circles and pretty straight lines. How do I achieve those? Is there supposed to be a mold, a tool? I don't know. Since this is a new product, there was no tutorial whatsoever in terms of like a little booklet or, or something. How do I use this? I, I had no confidence whatsoever. Like, look at me, I'm stuttering. I have no confidence. So it would be helpful to know what is expected of me. How do I use this? When I looked at the actual orbs and the images of the projects, it seemed like they expected us to use the entire pieces for one project. I could be completely wrong, but if you look at the actual ratio of color orbs in relation to the other orbs, it seems so much tinier. So suddenly that turquoise bluish orb seemed so tiny compared to the purple one that you have to ask yourself, how big was that project for the blue to look that tiny? The projects are expected to be temporary. However, you are putting, you know, different layers, little tiny orbs here and there. So because we're putting all these different orbs on top of each other, what you're gonna do after that? Gotta disassemble it. That's pretty big pain in the butt. The biggest frustration for me has got to be the stickiness. It's supposed to be Sticky, right? It's supposed to stick to each other, but it wasn't just sticky to each other, but it was sticky onto your fingers, onto your hand, onto your wrist. It, it just stuck everywhere, which it made it harder to actually control where you wanted it to go. I don't like to be picky, but the box projects were pretty misleading. We saw smooth projects, really pretty wings, very controlled lines, and I tried. Not for lack of trying, I tried. But they were not smooth, they were not straight, it's pretty misleading. So almost sure that these pictures were photoshopped to get such smooth edges. All right, so even though this is a sticky thing, it wasn't staying in place. If you didn't condense the pieces too hard, which, you know, little hands don't necessarily do that, some of the orbs were just falling off. And worse than that is if you started actually, you know, just holding it and trying to push other pieces into other spots, you are getting a distortion on the other side, hence the eyes, they totally did not start that crooked. Maybe a little crooked, but not that crooked. So I use the box as a guidance for me to be able to do that cat. As I mentioned, it's setting expectations that were pretty high, and as much as I would have liked to accomplish that cat, I feel like a lot of the frustrations would have been solved if we had molds. I really do think that their setting expectations are just not doable without a specific kind of guidance. Because of all the things that I mentioned, the final con for me was the fact that the end result was not going to be what you started with. Even if you were pretty careful and you started very smoothly with, you know, all the shifting, distorting and, you know, all that stuff, your end result is almost sure to change. All right, now for the pros. There are a couple, but, you know, let's just get to the concept of this product is actually pretty cool. I didn't think that I would like the texture, which I did. I didn't think I would like the little Orby idea, but I actually did. So the concept itself 
is pretty neat. Filling gaps in case you miss the piece or you know if they shift it and then you have like this little bald spot and instead of trying to patch with play or clay and then you have to smooth it in, you really could just put one orb in there and just kind of fill the gap. That was pretty easy. This product is $14 US and the playability on it is a long time. As I said, it took me about an hour and 15 minutes just to get that head that I ruined. That one head took me so long. So it's got potential for playability. If, if there's a kid or a person that doesn't mind disassembling, distorting, and all that stuff, the color combinations in these boxes are super cute. I actually really love colors and the ones that they included in those boxes were pretty spot on. With that said, I give this product a... 4 on 10 dorks. It's not entirely a crappy product, and it's not entirely a great product. There are definitely things that could be improved on it, and I, I really do think it has a potential of being a really fun product. But again, we're kind of thrown into the ocean and said, go ahead and swim. Some people will learn how to swim, and other people will be like, what? So now you know the cons and the pros, it's up to you to decide whether it's something that you think would be fun for either you or someone else if you want to buy it for them. It really does have a good potential, I just, you know, there, there are just things that need to be fixed. If you want to watch another salty review, especially last week's was extra salty, you might actually have to get your blood pressure checked. Now that's comedy! Click up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, because I do release those also every week, check down here. Thank you so much for watching guys, until then, Salty Crafter out.